Hello again, everyone. You may notice that I have already opened day four. Um, I'm ha having a bit of trouble recently uploading my videos to YouTube. They are taking forever. And my, my um, time in my craft room in December is kind of limited. We're celebrating our golden wedding. We're, be we're going away a couple of times. So in order for me to have a video for you every day during December, I'm going to have to kind of plan my time. So what I wanted to do today was kind of think it through so that it wouldn't take me too long to do it, so that A, it wouldn't take uh, too long to upload, and B, I could get on with other things that I need to do. Anyway, today we have got this super truck, a ute as you'd call it in uh, Australia, a pickup maybe in England, um, a truck in the US, I don't know, but it's, it's cool, it's pretty cool. And with the truck is a heap of presents or a tree. And immediately when I think of a tree, I think of that... Chris Rea song, Driving Home for Christmas. I think it's fab. Anyway, what I've done, I have cut out four trucks. I have cut out three um, sets of the tree. I only cut out one lot of um, parcels of presents because I thought I, would, I wanted to use the tree today, but I cut that out because I just actually wanted to see what it looked like. But again, what I would do as far as this is concerned if I was going to use this one, would be to have it in layers, but have different numbers of layers in different parts. I would have the bottom bit, say three layers, the middle bit, two layers, and the top bit, just the one, so that it looks like it's going into the distance. And it's so easy to separate. You just do a, a tiny snip between some of these other cut lines, but that is a fabulous die. So that might be useful to put on a, a sleigh as well. You know, wow. Very useful. I'm thinking of these things as I'm going along. Anyway, that's what I thought I would do with the truck. And why I've done so many of these is um, twofold, really. One is to give dimension. I want to cut um, the wheels out so that the wheels are not so close to the eye as the, the main body of the truck. That is, uh, secondly, very useful because it means that if you're colouring just the wheels on on a layer underneath it doesn't matter about going over the the body of the the car at the same time because the top layer will cover that up if there's no wheels in there you'll just see the layer underneath and you've no need to worry about you know going over the lines likewise i thought i might color uh, the windows of the truck but i would do them on the layer underneath cut them out of the top layer and so when I colour them on the la la layer underneath, then any any overlap of lines won't show on the top. So that's kind of my way talking through that lot. And I just did three trees because I thought three would give a little bit of dimension, be not quite as fat as the truck, so it look it would look further away than the truck itself. With that, I had the thought that the backdrop I might like to. This is my card panel. This is one of my, it's half a sheet of A4, cut across the middle this way and then tent folded. I've got this gummy pan die and I thought I might kind of cut the bottom part of this with this die to give kind of a bumpy top. So we will have snow at the bottom. I would emboss the top bit with a snowy embossing folder and just perhaps put a tree in a house on the corner only colouring the truck, everything else just white, just to keep your eyes on the truck. I did also fish out a Merry Christmas die. Don't know whether I'll use that, but I have printed on the computer driving home for Christmas to see what that looks like. So those are my ideas. <laughs> the question is now, are they going to work out? Let's just see. Um, why don't I start with the with the, the bottom panel? I looked this way up. It'll just about cut a little bit off the edge there. But I don't know which is the best way. 
up to use it. That's got that's got a couple of deep things. It, it, I'm hoping it's going to look like a bit drifted snow, and the and that the truck is going along in front of it. If you know what I mean. So we'll 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 just just put it on about here. Is it? Does it have to be level? I suppose it does really. About there, and then the truck can go sort of here, like so. And I thought maybe a, I've got this. Is, these are also gummy pan dies that I dug out of my box. A Christmas tree there, and a, a house there. I thought I'd do that just to kind of look in. I may even put those behind there, so it's it looks like it's a distance. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> just ideas in my head at the moment. So let's just see. I'll cut this bottom bit off first. Let's see how we go with this. Right. Perhaps I should do it on the on the thing it's going to be cut from and then I won't have to move it, would I? Right. About there, I thought. That's about okay, I think. Right, find a top plate, pop it on and put it through. That's not far enough in, right. I want to put these two pieces back together again on the front panel, you see. That's why I'm... So that's like that. So this is my front road bit. I'm going to emboss that and then join these back together again. Says she, hopefully. So let's pop this through the embossing folder. This is a, an old Sheena Douglas one that I've had for Yonks, which is sadly no longer available. So many people have been after it, but that, that loads more have been produced in the interim. So if you want to do a snowy background, I'm sure you can find a, a snow embossing folder somewhere that would suit your purposes. I particularly like this one because of the randomness and the difference in size of the, of the, the swirling flakes. Right, let's put this back together again and join it back together. I'll just use a piece of regular sticky tape, I think. Actually, an easier way to do it is to put it on half and then join it back together, but there we go. It's all right. That's fine. Okay, yeah, I'm pleased with that. Right. And the truck's going to be driving along. Okay, so let's take away. Let's start um, mashing these about a little bit. Um, I can stick the bot. I think I want the bottom two definitely. Oh, have we got two there? We've got three. No, I've got two. I'll stick those two together as a bottom layer. These are very white ones that are, you know, not not matching the rest of the of the card, but it doesn't matter if they're underneath, does it really? Right, there's the first layer. And with that, I think I'm going to colour these wheels. If I want it to be really... Yes, I think I'm... I'm <laughs> what I'm thinking is... What I could do is if I do an extra layer again, I can cut out the wheel, colour the middle silver and cut out a tyre from there and just put a black tyre on. So let me, let me try that. Let me try that. Right. Here we go. Snip, snip, snip and snip. Now, Let's get this middle bit out. Snip. And. It's, it, they're super. You can just, you know, tailor them to your specific wishes. So, 
let me just cut this one off. Snip, snip, snip and snip. So we're getting a couple of tires out of this. Right. Snip. These are fabulous scissors. Bought these recently. Can't remember. Beadative or something, it looks like the name. Don't know if that's right, but they're super scissors. Right, now then, if that's going to go with that one, let me just cut this bit out as well. Okay, now I want to colour the middles of these wheels silver for the chromium. I've just got these new pens from Spectrum Noir, metallic paint markers. I got some silvers and some golds. I'm not sure how you get into them really, they're, they're kind of stuck in here. There we go, there's three different widths of nib. So I probably want the, the flattest as I've got. Um, that's the skinny one, that's the that's a very fine point, can you see? Then there's this one, which is three millimetres. And this one, which is four. This one's got kind of a, a flattened, you know, a, a beveled point. This one is rounded. And this is just a tiny thin thing. So let's have a go. Let's have a go. Um, I'm going to colour the middle of these wheels. Now, this looks to me like it's got to be... Um, I probably need to shake it. And it needs to be charged. It's one of those things that's on a, a valve. So the more you... When you press... Oh, you can see it coming. The ink is released. Or, well, it says it's paint, actually. So who knows? So I can just go over like that and I've got the centre of my wheels. No problem. Um, I wonder about the bumper, but the bumper should be further forward, shouldn't it really? Um, do I want that one? Uh, these are going to be black. So let me get a, a black marker for the tyres. And these are all my greys and blacks and things in here. Cool grey five. These are black. Okay. There's a tyre. me colour this window. Let me colour the... Do I need this layer? Um, I want that one for the top layer then, don't I? With no wheels on. Do I need that layer? Let's cut these, these off and then we'll have this one. We'll have two layers of, of the top. I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants here, having thought I thought I'd sorted out what I was doing. Right, um, let me cut the, the window out of this. There we go. So now if I colour that window in sort of pale greyish just so that it looks like it's what colour is this? Threat 2 let's see what that looks like 
Yeah, it looks like a window, doesn't it? Okay, so I need to cut the window out of this one as well. Okay. I mean, you can fiddle around forever, really, just, you know, doing bits, but... Um... Right. Let's stick these two together and then we can stick them onto there. One of those I snipped through that one, so I'll put that one underneath. Okay. If you wanted to really go to town, you could, you know, even snip out bits like the door handles and and put, you know, extra bits sticking on top forward of those. And again, if you cut them apart, then they'll be no problems about as going over one colour with another. Right. I think these two wheels can go on. Let's just put a bit of glue on, on here. Just go round the wheel, round the wheel. Yeah. Let's stick our wheel back on. This one's got the, the dots at the, at the top, so we'll put them kind of like that. Okay. There we go. Right, now the next thing I think we'll do, we'll just colour the truck. And, you know, it's got to be red, hasn't it? You know, driving home for Christmas, it's got to be red. So let me get my, put those silver markers in there for a moment. Let's get the scissors away. Let the dog see the rabbit. There we go. Right. Yeah, the two colours I usually use out of this set are ripe, oh, fresh watermelon, beg its pardon, and black cherry. So let's do the black cherry first. And we'll put a little bit of shading here and there. I'm just wondering what those silver pens will be like over the top, whether I can put, actually I need that, I need that bit of wind, front windscreen done there and this bit cut out, don't I? Actually that one looks like it ought to be proud. Let's just try just a minute. Wrong colour. Oh, nearly did the wrong thing then. Let's just try it as is. If I don't like it, I can cut it out. Okay. If I make a mess, I can, I can cut it out. Right, let's do the rest of it. I hope I'm going to be able to go for the door handle and the, the wing mirror maybe with um, one of those silver pens. We'll see. See how it goes. See how we roll. not blending very well probably because there's this kind of lines between the between the bits let's try some of those pens in a minute it's better I think I'm gonna cut that bit out I 
that's better. Right, let's try one of these silvers. Um, I need the little fine one, I think, to try and get into that. To do the wing mirror and the bumpers, I think. That's what, I've, that's what I'm thinking. Now I've got to get this charged, haven't we? Seems a bit wobbly somehow. I think it's all right. Let's keep the pen down a moment. That's coming. Okay. Right, there's a bit of bumper there. Oh, this is lovely and fine. It's brilliant. And the wing mirror here. And this bumper here. You call them fenders, don't you? in the US. I don't know what you call them in the, in Australia. Okay. Now we'll stick that onto here. Where's my glue? Here it is. It does make it so much easier if you do it in layers. You don't have to worry about contaminating one area with another, another one's colour. Come on, actually come. I have to keep looking to see if I can find one of those petunia um, holder things for these dispensers. Can't remember what they call it. Precision something or other. Because to me it sounds like a good idea. Right, let's put this on. line it up that's better I don't like I think that should be a darker grey underneath there before it's just set let me just take this off a minute and put a bit of deep grey around these wheels around here a bit dirty looking that's better Right. Okay. So there's our truck. Driving home. We've just got to colour these. I'll join the three of them together just to give them a bit of extra dimension. Oh, come on. Aren't you come? Right, that can go on to there. And that can go on to there. Excellent. Now we'll colour the top one. And once again, I'll use a couple of colours of markers. Um, let's see what we've got. A dark green and uh, mid green and a light green okay any old how do let's use the other end Last one. I've got red on my fingers. Oh, I've made it a bit brown on the bottom, that's fine. Okay. Right. Away. Now I intend leaving everything else white. I don't know if it's going to look silly or or not, but we will see. So that's going to go into the truck, comme ça. Okay. 
that's fine. Let's shoot these little bits off into the bin and clean the thing later. That's going to go on there. That's going to go on there. And I just thought that we could have a house and a tree somewhere just just kind of here. I'd, I've cut out a couple of trees just to make them a bit more obvious. There, and well, have I done two houses? Yes, there's another one there. Let me just cover that with tape at the back just to keep those bits in. So I've got a, a proper layer. I mean, if I was going to colour these, this would be the thing to do, would be to um, join them together first and then you could colour the bottom layer and um, add another one over the top in a, you know, where the, the line outside bit is, this bit could be um, a contrast. But I, as I say today, I plan on keeping these all white. So we'll see how we go. Let's take the excess sticky tape off. There we go. Now, I was thinking of having a house kind of there. Or even behind there. I think behind like that. I think that would be quite nice. So let's just join these together quickly. I've got my other sentiments on the computer, so I'll just see what that looks like. Right. Put the tree on the other tree on the top. And we'll put the other house on the top as well. Okay, just put a bit of glue all over this. You've often seen me, I suspect, putting glue on the layer underneath rather than on the back of the top layer. You glue the back of the top layer, there's quite a good chance you'll get some glue on the front of the top layer. Whereas if you do it this way, the top layer has a better chance of staying pristine. So let's see, we'll put the main body in and the surround in. And all we have to put in now is a door and a chimney. Here's the door. And here is the chimney. Okay, so that there, this here, there's even a little place for that one to go down into. Driving home for Christmas. There we are. Where do I put the sentiment? Just let me have a look. I've got, I've got this one here. This is what I did driving home for Christmas. I would need to cut that out. Pop it up the top maybe. Let's just see what size. I think that would do it, wouldn't it? Let's just chop this out. Couldn't get the thing back in very well. Let's just see. One and two. I think the Merry Christmas I got out is going to be probably a bit big, you see. I could put it like that, I guess. It's going to be rather a full card that way. Let's just see what this looks like. 
If I didn't like it, I can do the other thing, can't I? Right. Not straight. I'm going to have to tape it. I just, particularly if um, your plates are a little bit warped after a while, as mine are. I don't care for warped plates too much. Oh, dear me. Concentrate. It's not straight. That's better. I love this font. It's called, Are You Freaking Serious? <laughs> I think it's amazing. And the writer obviously has a great sense of humour, I would think. Right. Done one half. Now we'll do the other end. Turn it round. Find the grooves. Make sure they're in the grooves. Get the right distance. And we've just cut the other end. Okay. Here we are. Driving home for Christmas. I will stick those down, put them in the usual places. I may put, uh, I rather care for that. And I think the white behind is fine. It's just emphasis on, on the truck and the tree. Fab. Well done, got me a pan and a, <laughs> a couple of little treasures. Absolutely. Anyway, as ever, stay safe, stay warm. And thank you so much for watching.